Today we need to get into Scooter Braun and being severely threatened at the Hive office and people telling him to come out of the office. And then we have people saying that Scooter Braun needs to leave Hive and BTS and then people thinking that Jungkook might leave as well. And then we have a hater that was sued and what that was about. Say dumplings it's safe to say hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, grab your dumplings, hate spilling mug merch, and let's go. We need to talk about a specific fan that had said some really crazy things in the past. And I use the word fan pretty lightly because I don't know if this person was more so a fan of any of the artists they talked about on YouTube or if they were just someone who was talking about them because they wanted to make a little bit of money. Of course, if you haven't guessed it already, I'm talking about the infamous Soljong. If you don't know the backstory behind this, basically this was a YouTuber that decided to make a lot of videos talking about any K-pop idol from many different labels. It was believed this person would make up rumors and the reason why most people believe this was because the stories and the stuff that they were saying were not only very much factually incorrect, there was no evidence to support where their opinions were coming from. So they'll say so-and-so is dating and the evidence behind that is something like them wearing the same shirt or something. And I don't know if saying particularly dating would cause an actual lawsuit or anything like that. However, the YouTuber was believed to have incited or encouraged people to send the idol hate. Now, I don't know that 100% and I don't want to say that definitely because I don't know if they actually physically ever said for the people watching to go attack a specific idol. But it was made fairly clear that the intent behind these videos were not of someone just like thinking or speculating. It was someone who was supposedly angry and was being hateful. So the story goes pretty deep because I think V had even said at one point that he wanted to sue her. And then after that, I think there were some other idols that wanted to do that. And shortly after, it was believed that the YouTuber's account was eventually hacked. It wasn't long after that, it was believed that the specific, that the public received an apology from the YouTuber. It was apparently written on Korean social media and they wrote a long winded post about how they were really sorry and they never intended it to be like this and they made a little bit of money and then they kept going and it just seemed like a genuine apology. However, it wasn't long after that post was made did the actual YouTuber allegedly come out to say that the apology was actually never theirs and it wasn't real. Now, there's two theories behind this. One, the apology could have been real, and then they're like retracting that apology because the apology would make it appear like an omissions of guilt, and they would then lose in court. So maybe their legal team told them to retract that apology, or lie and say it never happened, or someone actually really did fabricate an apology completely. And I think that is actually crazy, but could happen. We are a part of a community that often fabricates things and makes up stories and creates their own narrative. It really wouldn't be that far off for, for someone to want a sort of satisfactory ending to the situation. And since the YouTuber wasn't speaking on their own, someone decided to create their own apology and create this satisfactory ending where it seemed like this person was apologizing and groveling to the fans asking for forgiveness. To be honest, both of these scenarios would make sense to me. And it could actually even be neither of these scenarios. Now, apparently after the retraction of the fake alleged apology, the YouTuber went ahead and said that they are actually not apologizing for anything they said and that they will not be paying any specific defamation fees that they would have normally had to pay if the idol had won the lawsuit. This is specifically about the YouTuber's post directed towards one of the idols from IVE. Apparently, not only did the YouTuber claim that they will not be paying the defamation fees, but also claims that what they actually they did actually was not defamation because everything they posted was of public interest. Now, a defamation suit is very interesting because it revolves around this idea of not just what you're saying and if what you're saying is of public interest, but if there's intent behind what is being said as a hateful thing. So if you're saying that you feel someone might be doing something bad, but you normally post very positive things about the celebrity, you normally are on that celebrity side, and then just this one post you're talking about maybe they did something bad, that cannot be defamation because in court, they cannot prove that you are actually someone who has been trying to defame them. But I would imagine that the case with this YouTuber is very different because they can easily look at all the posts and all the rumors that are being made and maybe even see that it's coming from a more negative place. Of course, I'm not the YouTuber, nor am I the person that is in court making the decisions, so I can't say what will happen. But only time will tell and we'll eventually know the outcome of all this. As I'm sure most of you know, when lawsuits like this happen, they drag on for years. And this case has been going on and this has been a case that's happened for years now. And speaking of which, I do think there could even be potentially a lawsuit with all of the accusations that are being made about Scooter Braun right now online. 
Scooter Braun has openly talked about how he wants peace and he is going against that and saying that he does not want peace and there's already this huge backlash against him, that could potentially be a defamation suit. That the stuff that's online is more than incriminating enough because even if he did have a belief that was not great and one that you don't agree with, the fact that he is getting death threats and people are trying to kill him is already enough for him to sue. There was of course the billboard truck that was outside of the label and with that a lot of people have been saying that they want Scooter to come out of the office and watch the billboard truck to see his face there and him being shamed. There are other people that want Scooter Braun to come out of the headquarters so they can literally attack and hurt him. Yeah, in which case I believe that would be very much against the law. People saying that they would literally attempt to put a knife in him or terrible, terrible things like that are not things that I think should be said. And I think we live in a world now where people have to be aware that when you say stuff like this online that it's illegal. These people and these fans, it's literally a different story if they actually cared about genocide and the stuff that's going on over there. And for those who are protesting and those who are going out every day and protesting and fighting for the rights of whatever they believe in, fine, you can have your belief and you can attack Scooter if you feel that's necessary. The majority of people that are attacking Scooter are people that don't actually care about the situation over there and they just don't like that a Western producer is touching a K-pop label. There's also been a lot of fear that Jungkook might leave BTS and might leave the label and I think a lot of that could actually also be fueling the hate that some people have for Scooter Braun. Bang PD talked about how he credits all of like Jungkook's work and Jungkook's motivation to make the album with Scooter Braun and P Bang PD talks about how he calls Scooter Braun his soul brother. So this makes a lot of people think alongside an article, if I can find it, where it hints towards Jungkook going solo and made it sound like Jungkook was not going to be a part of BTS anymore and it mostly hinted or alluded to it, it never actually said it, but this made people very angry as they thought that Scooter Braun was just going to take Jungkook and then run away and push Jungkook to go solo and have this huge career without BTS. However, I think something that people don't take into consideration ever is what the artist wants. And Jungkook has continuously, time and time again, talked about how he wants to be in BTS. And let's be honest here, I think a lot of people would take Jungkook and maybe push him to go solo if they were someone that was working with him, right? Because they can make a lot of money with him and it's easier to push one person versus seven. It's also cheaper to put one person up in a hotel. And if the profits are the same or more, then why not push that one person more? However, you still have to take in consideration if that one person wants that. For example, if someone were to go up to you and hand you a record deal, I think most people would be like, sure, I'll take it. But we never take in consideration the people who, are, who actually don't want that and are like actually that's not my life goal I don't want to be famous or seen in that way and thus not sign the deal which I feel like a lot of people don't actually trust Jungkook and actually don't trust what he wants and thus they think he's going to go solo. I think a lot of people want Scooter Braun to leave the label but I think a lot of people are scared that the label and Bang PT have openly talked about how they love Scooter and thus would never actually kick him out. It's very odd because half the people want to differentiate the label and what Scooter represents however the label openly talks about how much they love Scooter, which I think should already be a sign that in people's heads that what they think about Scooter is not what's actually happening. If the company loves someone, the company obviously knows what's going on behind the scenes that the public doesn't see, so I feel like the public should be smart enough to kind of figure out maybe we don't know everything and thus we have no right to actually complain about something, you know? You know maybe half the story at least at this point, even if Scooter Braun comes out and completely disowns his own belief and religion, there will still be backlash against him. So at this point, who, no one is listening to what he has to say, and thus why would he even try to address things? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for leaving a comment right here. Love you. Bye.